Memes here and welcome back. For today's tech tutorial, we will be discussing Linux again, another preparation for Linux Plus exam. So last week we discussed uh, stage one, which was BIOS and UEFI. Today we're gonna go into stage two, which is Grub and Grub2. So I will discuss what they are, what the differences are, and I will demonstrate on Ubuntu and CentOS how to see the Grub folders. So let's jump into it. This is Grub and Grub2. Grub stands for Grand Unified Bootloader, and essentially what it does is it transitions from BIOS UEFI to the operating system. Grub and Grub2 do the same thing. They have the same goal. In fact, some people don't even know which Grub version they're running, and they have no clue how to find out. So that's what we're going to go through today. So I'll start with the main differences between Grub and Grub2, and then we'll jump into the demo. So Grub is obviously older, it's legacy, and it has a lot of limitations. So one limitation is the config file. It's really hard to make changes and save config files in Grub. You can view them, you can go to etc. you can go to default, um, and you can view it, but it doesn't necessarily have a saving update code the way Grub2 does. Grub2 will have a whole command which we'll go over, but Grub does not have that. It makes it pretty tough to make changes and save those changes. Another difference is that most machines that run Grub will show a boot menu at startups. Like when you power it on, it's at the startup mode, it'll show boot menu and it'll allow you to choose what option you want. Grub2 does not have that. And another way of knowing which Grub version you have, actually a better way in my opinion, is to look at the boot files. So when viewing your boot files, if you see menu.list or grub.conf, that means you're running Grub. On the other side, Grub2 also has a boot file to look for. It is grub.config. So if you're looking at the boot file and you see that, that means you have Grub2 on your machine. Grub2 is also very customizable. So you can go into your Grub file, you can go into your config files, make changes, and it use an actual command to save those changes, which is not an option for Grub. Grub2 also has many more boot methods. You can boot to an ISO, USB, UUID, and just other devices that you cannot boot with Grub. And lastly, Grub2 has a hidden boot menu at startup. So if you remember Grub, when you are booting up, you will see the boot menu there. For Grub2, it's invisible. It's not there, it's hidden. So what you have to do in order to see the boot menu is at startup, you have to hold shift, and then the boot menu will pop up. If you don't do that, it's just gonna start up as usual and go right into your Linux. So those are just a few differences between Grub and Grub2. Now let's jump into the demos. All right, so as you can see, I have my Ubuntu virtual machine up. This is where we're gonna start. So first thing I want to do is determine which Grub version I am on. So let me sudo in. There we go. All right, so to determine your Grub version, I'm just gonna go straight into the boot file. So let's do that. Boot Grub. There you go. All right, and then we're gonna go to list now that we're in that folder. And boom, there you can see, you're either gonna look for the Grub, um, the, was the menu.lst or Grub conf, but here we see we have grub config, meaning we are using grub2. And it's that simple. That's how you find out which grub version you're using. So since I'm here, I do want to show you the config file as well. And I'll show you the string to make changes slash save that is not available for grub, but in grub2, you can actually use a string to save. So let me do that really fast. So let's go cat. Uh, it's in the etc. folder and the default folder and the grub. All right, so this is the config file. Now I'm not gonna change anything, but um, I just wanted to show you the string or the command that you can save. So it's not optional for grub, but in grub2 you can automatically update and make the changes. So let's pretend really fast that I made a change in this config file. I changed something around and now I want to save it. All we have to do is hit sudo update 
scrub. And it's now populating everything that could possibly be changed and saved. So it's not really mentioning that, oh, you did change something, but it just tells you that all of this stuff could be changed and we are updating it to the current state. So that's all we needed to see. All right, so let's switch to CentOS. All right, so now I have my CentOS virtual machine up and we're gonna essentially do the same thing. So first, I want to go into our boot files to find out which grub we're using. So let's do that first. Let me sudo in. All right, so now we're in. Let's hit the, the boot file. So we're gonna go CD boot and let's go LS. All right, so this is where it gets a little complicated. This is CentOS and this is just something to note when you're using Red Hat that yes, each device only uses either Grub or Grub2. You don't have both. But if you can see here, there are two folders. You have a Grub folder and you have a Grub2 folder. So again, which Grub are you using? We don't know yet. So you have to kind of dig deeper into it to really find out which Grub version you are on. So let's look at Grub. Oh crap, just regular Grub. As you can see, there are no config files in here. So it's obviously like, this is not the one we're talking about. So let's exit really quick. All right, so now let's go into Grub2. Oh, I guess it totally logged me out. Let me sudo back in. All right, cool. And then let me go back to, I didn't realize it was gonna like log me out of every single thing. All right, um, LS, all right, here we go. So we checked out um, Grub folder, there's nothing in it. Now we're gonna look at Grub2. So let's go LS Grub2. And there you will see which Grub version you are. So it was in Grub2. We see the uh, grub.config, so we know that we're on Grub2. So that's just one thing that I, I recall uh, Red Hat does it. Sometimes it has duplicate folders and you have to just dig a little bit deeper to find out which exact file you're looking for. All right, so just like we did for Ubuntu, let's go into the config file really fast so that we can see the differences between the Ubuntu config file and the CentOS config file. So let me type that very quickly, etc. default. Did I spell it right? All right, so we are in. Let's look at the list. Cool, all right, so you see grub right there and we're going to view it. So we're gonna view grub. And this is what the CentOS config file looks like. So it's a lot different. It doesn't look like a lot of things are in there, possibly because there just isn't, but um, I just wanted to show you guys the difference between um, Ubuntu config file and CentOS config file. So CentOS does not have an update dash grub uh, command. You know, there's, it does update eventually, but there's not one that you can just send a command and it updates everything. One thing I wanted to point out for CentOS is that it could be tricky to get out of view mode. Um, like right now we're in here and if you hit like, you know, you're hitting escape, you can't get out. If you hit like Q, it's not really working. Um, let's say you're trying to just get out of the config mode. How do you do that? You know, delete's not working, nothing's working. Um, the best way to do it is to put a colon, Q, and then exclamation mark. So we'll do it again, colon, Q, exclamation mark. And you are now out. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown between Grub and Grub2. I also hope you enjoyed that quick demo just showing the difference between Ubuntu and CentOS. A lot more videos to come, so stay tuned. Bye for now.